Hello, my name is Alexander. I'm nine years old and I made this machine in two days all by myself. Now for the explanation. The pink ball drops into a tube, which is angled slightly downward. And it rolls out of the end of the tube into a cup. This cup is at one end of a beam of a lever. When the ball lands in the cup, the cup shifts downward to the, due to the weight of the ball and the other end of the beam moves upward. When the end of the beam rises, it enables a small metal ball to pass underneath the end of the beam. The ball rolls down a small chute angled downward with, when the end of the beam is lifted. As the ball falls off the end of the chute, it dangles mid-air attached only by string. the string. The string goes over a bar so that it creates a pulley, which is a structure that changes the direction of force and must be applied to lift an object against gravity. The metal ball acts as a weight, pulling down on the string, which gets redirected upwards on the other side of the bar. The end of the string on the other side of the bar continues under a second bar, which redirects the force again, making it once again pull downwards. The end of the string pulling downwards is attached to a chute, which acts as a lever. The chute is pulled down on the end, which is effectively a beam, so that the other end of the beam moves up. The beam is raised on either side to make sure that the golf ball, which is situated on the beam, will not fall off as it rolls down the chute. When it gets to the end of the chute, the golf ball drops onto another chute, which is perpendicular to the first chute. The golf ball rolls down the chute, then hits the end of the beam of another lever at the bottom. Therefore, the other end of the, that beam at the top shifts. The top of the lever's beam, which shifts, is attached to another chute that has a small metal ball on it. When, it, when the beam shifts, the chute tilts downward, thus moving the metal ball. It makes a connection between itself and yet another chute. That chute runs along the top of the cornflakes box. There is a bead of dry glue on the chute. A solid wood ball is resting against a bead of dry glue on the chute and therefore stop their moving. When the metal ball hits the wooden ball, the metal ball takes the wooden ball's place and stays motionless at the bead of glue. The wooden ball proceeds along the chute. When the wooden ball hits near the end of the chute, just above the opening of the cereal box, the weight of the ball hits the cornflakes box, which has a wire through its center acting as a hinge, and pours out the cereal along a small, practically vertical track down to the ball. Milk pouring machine. First, the light blue ball goes down a chute. Uh, as the ball moves along the chute, it is gaining more and more momentum because it is speeding up. The ball then drops out of the chute down approximately one inch. It falls due to gravity. It lands on a second chute and rolls down it. After at, at, after at the end, after at the end of the second chute, there is a lever. Like all levers, it consists of a beam and a hinge. The lever has a cup on it one end, which traps the ball. This mechanism is similar to on the cereal pouring machine. On the other end, it opens a flap. Therefore, a dark blue ball is able to proceed down the track. In the middle of the second chute, there is a small bead of dry glue, again, resting behind the bead of glue on the track, there is a golf ball. The golf ball is prevented from moving by the bead of glue, and only by the bead of glue. Because it is not moving, the golf ball only has potential energy. When the dark blue ball hits the golf ball, the golf ball rolls down the track, thus transferring its potential energy to kinetic energy. As the golf ball falls off the end of the track, it enters a tube, which is situated on the top of the milk jug. The golf ball therefore shifts the weight of the milk jug, 
there is a piece of cardboard at the end of the tube to stop the golf ball from falling out when it reaches the end of the tube. The tube acts as a beam, and the milk jug has a wire through its center that acts as a hinge, just like the cereal box, so that the milk jug tips and pours when the golf ball shifts its weight from one end of the tube to the other. There is a bowl placed under the spout of milk so that the milk pours into the bowl.